Let's focus a little bit on the word Rahbaniya. Rahbaniya means monasticism and comes from the word Rahib, meaning one who fears. After Isa al-Islam left this world, the kings and leaders publicly defied the laws of Bible. Once the righteous followers of Isa al-Islam recognized that they will not be able to overcome this situation through resistance or use of power, they looked for ways to protect their faith and left the norms of the society, they gave up all pleasures and comforts of life, including marriage, and either lived in a nomad life or moved into jungles and caves to protect their religion. Since they acted this, in this manner due to fear of God, they were named as Rahib, and this practice was referred to as Rahbaniya. We can think of monasticism or Rahbaniya to have three different forms. First form would be that a person begins to consider a permissible act as prohibited. This is completely unacceptable and reprehensible. Second form is that a person temporarily restrains from a permissible act for a worldly or religious benefit. Example could be avoiding um, sweet things due to predisposition to diabetes, or a person may sleep or eat less to acquire self-discipline during spiritual training. Such acts are not disliked since they are means to an end and they are adopted temporarily for a defined purpose. In fact, they cannot be even classified as monasticism. Or a third form is when a person does not consider a permissible act as prohibitive, but believes that abstaining from the permissible act is more virtuous. This is considered a wulu or overindulgence and prohibited as well. So a balance should be made here. If something has been made halal and is permissible, cannot be considered as prohibited. Similarly, you cannot even stop doing a permissible act and believe that stopping is something that is more virtuous, that is wudu. However, for a particular uh, duration, for a particular reason, understanding uh, that you are not considering that act to be impermissible, neither you're doing it because you think it is more virtuous, but for a need, you avoid something. In that case, it could not be considered monasticism, and uh, there is room for such activity.